from there, I want to give you an update on what's happening out at ODOT. They have plenty of crews on deck. Let's send it over to Tony Geftis. And one of the major concerns, Christina, for all of those levels is the visibility. That's why we've borrowed a page out of the Disney playbook here from the world of cars. You won't be able to see out of your windshield. Look at the way this has piled up and just stuck to the windshield over just the past half hour. And you want to make sure that you know where you're headed and what you're headed in. This is the 13 ABC Action News live truck there. So when you get outside today, if you're going to venture out and you may be outside of Lucas County, make sure you brush off not only your windshield, but also your lights so you can see where you're going so other people can see you. It's tough to see Teresa Pollock out here. It's coming down pretty, uh, pretty good, but you've got 100 workers and 100 plows out there spreading the salt at this hour. What do you anticipate for the next couple of hours? Uh, right now we've got reduced visibilities as you were talking about. We're down to around a quarter to a half a mile and that is a heavy rate of snowfall. So we're doing what we can to keep up with it, not treating at the moment. And that's because we've got very windy conditions as we know out here. Uh, but then we are also dealing with uh, this rapid snowfall and that makes it difficult. We will treat in spots. I know that right now we're seeing issues on I-75 southbound. Uh, so we're going to look at uh, seeing what we can do to help out that area. But that has been a problem uh, throughout the entire winter just due to the uh, blowing over of I-75. Okay, so not necessarily spreading the salt just yet, but plowing, trying to stay ahead of the storm. Yeah, and it all depends on the location. We might have some drivers that are plowing once again in, in those spots that may be a little bit tricky. Bridge decks, overpasses, definitely. Um, but you got to know that uh, heading into different areas, you're going to be dealing with different roads that may be treated, may not be treated. Just just be careful out there because this uh, storm system is one that we're taking once again very seriously because we're going to have these type of conditions uh, to continue throughout the day. And if these winds pick up, that is going to cause big problems as well. So we're going to do what we can to keep up with this, especially in the pre-dawn hour. Um, Hopefully things will improve once we get a little bit of light out here, but that could we could still be dealing with very treacherous conditions throughout the entire day, Tony. Just going to have to see. All right, thanks very much, Teresa Pollock. No, before you go, reporting live in Maumee, Tony Geftis, 13ABC Action News.